good kitten internet. Back to Fact Sanadu. Um, today's Saturday is 18th? Yeah, April 18th. Um, before I did anything, I wanted to show people who have played Fact Sanadu before that the continue does, in fact, work. No need to put in passwords or anything like that. This is what the Japanese version of the game had. Now, don't you feel ripped off? Anyway, we're actually going to load the save state because I think I had more than 800 gold. Save state, load state. No, I actually had about that much gold, but more importantly, I had more experience, so. So we are in, is it Apolloon? Uh, our next level is at, ew, we still have a ways to go, 600 XP more. So, I want to show you what I did as a kid. Because remember, what I mentioned last episode is that this is the last city I got to when I was a younger kid. Because I, well, one, having to keep the game on constantly because I couldn't write the stupid passwords down. Um, I know on the Facebook thread that I linked this to, I put on the, whatchamacallit, the uh, screenshot of what the password screen looks like. I'll link it to people in the description. Anyway, um, oh right, I was going to look up how many queen keys I need. Let me do that. Mm -mm -mm. Oh, this is for four paw, not Apolloon. Apolloon's previous one. Right. Um. Just one, it looks like. I don't need it right away. Did I already talk to the civilians? Worried often about a fountain in the sky. When you go down from town, you'll come to a place where the sky opens above. They say a fountain is in the sky, but you need wing boots. So yeah, that's actually what our objective is going to be, is <clears throat> getting enough money for wing boots. But we can, so this is the point of the game that you can actually go in multiple ways and you can do things in whatever order that you want. You need to clear out the three fountains. So there's three different places that you can go and you don't have to do them in any particular order. So what I used to do was stand here and you can actually kill all three of them if you time things right. That gives you amount of XP. I wasn't paying attention to see how much. So I'm at 2981. So yeah, it gives me a little under 100 XP, but I can keep doing this repeatedly. This is how I leveled up to max. But what I want to show, it's a random chance of it happening. So this may take me a bit. There it is. That. This is what I meant by there are secrets in this game that just randomly appear. This is ointment. I am free from injury because of the ointment. So effectively, I'm invulnerable for, I think it's 30 seconds. Actually, I think it's the timing is different based on... Um, you notice I'm actually taking damage from my shield? I actually don't take damage if I don't get hit by my shield. Or hit on my shield. So yeah, I need to go up there, basically. So watch. Oh, no, I'm actually still taking damage from magic. Oh well. Do -do -do, don't mind me. Ba -dun -dun -dun. And the ointment's gone. It's quick. Actually, pretty badly hurt. I think I'm gonna go heal myself for a bit. <clears throat> I mostly just wanted to show what the ointment bit was. Ah, dang it, I forgot. Dang it. Anyway, so I was going to show this is the point of the game where the treatment bit makes a difference. So, there's a spring in the Tower of Fortress. You'll find the dried up fountain and the entrance to the tower right above this town. That's actually where I was going. So long! So, treatment costs 500 golds, 
But fish, which is over here. Dried meat to bring energy for 150. So you can eat three fish for less than the price of one treatment. There's no reason to do treatment at that point. Treatment's a waste of money. And it kind of persists that way for a long time. Oh yeah, you just say welcome to uh, Four Paw, yeah. <coughs> Might as well check in because I'm leveled. We are now a fighter. Congratulations on your new class. I hate these jumps because they're so long. Almost feels like I need to do things pixel perfect, but I don't. Oh, this is Mark of Jack. Okay. Ah, keep forgetting which ones accept and which ones cancel. All right, here we go. I'm going to save state here. So you'll notice that there's a potion up there. That is not a red potion. That is poison. It's really difficult to tell the difference with an NES palette, uh, especially when you're playing on an actual NES using an RF modulator and NTSC like I was. Everything looks the same. So do not touch that. Poison will drop you down to one hit point. Always. So there actually is a trick to fighting those wizards. Basically, you have to hit right as they're casting a spell, because then they'll turn around and cast a spell in the other direction. I'm terrible at doing that, by the way. I need healing already. Rumble. Luckily, these will heal. Notice I can actually hit them now. So I'm going to be moving back and forth on this for a bit because I want to heal up before I do anything else. Oh. Oh. Dang it. I didn't realize that that was that close. I guess I'm going to do this from the ground. So apparently this is a, that was a Myconid. I didn't realize. Why longsword is so useful. All right, I'm gonna go back and forth one more time. Oh yeah, by the way, when is the next level? Mm. 4,800, okay. All right, so the trick is Lean them all the way to the left so they bounce around, and you move faster than them. And I still messed it up. If I had a longer sword, that would work. Oh well. Anyway, I just need to kill this. Luckily, we have all the time in the world right now. There we go. Now, shove that thing down. Climb up here. Take a bunch of hits from a Minotaur. Kill the Myconid, and I don't remember where I need to go from here. I'm just gonna lean over here. Hey, look what we're fighting over there. see how, yeah, jumping over it is possible, but very difficult and very dangerous. Let's just load. I don't feel like dealing with that again. Ah. 
I don't remember what I had found out that those were called. I actually looked up the names of things, at least according to a guide. I don't know if they're accurate because... Guide. So yeah, basically when I'm attacking, I'm vulnerable from getting hit by magic. Um, because my shield is behind my body, so it hits my body first instead of the shield. So the trick... is to take it into the shield, rather than taking it into... See? There we go. Now I actually did the hit them and make them face the opposite direction. Now I'm gonna get hit. Oh! I can actually hit from here. Good. Let's heal back up again. Oh yeah, I wanted to check. I already did this, didn't I? 4,800. Yeah, I did. Sorry, my memory's not so great. Mm. Quarantine kind of does that to you. Ba -dum, ba -dum, ba -dum, ba -dum. Oh, technically I'm not under quarantine. I have not been infected with COVID-19. Just... Alright, that time I did it. do is knock them down, and I messed up. Ah, well, I'm gonna be doing grinding by accident. Yay. It's weird. I don't look like I'm actually on the cliff at all. Or on the ledge. Not cliff. Whatever. Anyway. This is an action RPG, er, action adventure game with platforming elements, and the platforming elements are problematic. Oh. Here before the Maconid reaches, and then I feel like killing that dwarf. I'm just going to make a save state here. I'm fully healed. Full magic. Oh, I wasn't paying attention to my hit points. Dang it, me. Um, let's try this a different route. I think it's actually possible for me to melee this, like from up here. I seem to remember something like that. Yep, it is. Okay. This is the way I had to do it. Oop. That's gonna be death really fast. Yep. Okay. I don't remember how I did this before. So I've absolutely killed Pet Torf. Maybe I just jumped over it. Or maybe I just need to be further back. Because I was partially leaning off the ledge. So the way I am right now, I don't think I'd be taking damage off. Yes, this is the way I did it. Okay. Okay, I just need to stay like this. I'm chasing it. I'm aware. Yeah, you can hear the tapping from the controller, so I'm just going to... Put the controller underneath my desk so you don't hear it as much. Forty-three fifty-six is my current XP. We'll see how much XP this dwarf gives us. Eventually. Oh, this is gonna make my thumb hurt. that time because timing but that's fine I'd rather be safe uh -uh. rather be safe must be a winged demon of some variety I mean I can see that not sure why it's casting fireball constantly but I th like think of it as a dragon okay Here's the problem with going this route. 
is that I have to go turn around and fight the dwarf again. That's why I didn't do that. There's wing boots, but I have to get up there. And going back means dwarf. Hey look, I have like two hit points. Great. Good thing I've got something to fight that gives me healing. Please don't fall back down there, thank you. I'm gonna cheese this for a little bit. But how are you? I need to still link my vlog from last night on social media. I'm doing this in the morning because one, I'm not working. <clears throat> and two, my partner's not up. My partner doesn't particularly care about this game. They have no emotional attachment. It's not exactly a story-based game. This isn't really their type of game. So there's no reason for them to watch me while I'm doing this, so I'm just doing it. <sighs> you know what? I'm gonna pause this and then unpause when I'm fully healed. Be back. And we're back. Uh, that actually didn't take me very long. Maybe like a minute. Now the annoying part. Fighting that thing. There. Basically the trick is that you can stand still and it will jump over your head. Problem being that I constantly mess things like that up. And it doesn't work if the height of the area that they're in is short. Okay. Ha! Ew. I don't remember what direction I need to go from here. Pretty sure it's not this way, but I'm coming anyway. So low on hit points already. where I need to go. Well, one of the places I need to go. <clears throat> so I've got bees. You'll notice there's an elixir over on the left. Oh crap, I just realized what I need that I don't have. Bees do actually have a pattern for movement. And it just dawned on me that I can't do this yet. Great. Whee! I desperately need at the moment. If only I could jump higher, because I can't jump over onto the right. Right. So I need to go up here to get that elixir. Come on. Just fall down already, please. Might be time for me to use a red potion. Let's go ahead and save state. Here. And ointment's gone. Ointment really only helps with physical contact. Yep, I'm going to use a red potion. Unfortunately, it doesn't heal any magic. You actually cannot heal magic. Ugh, I hate that! I remembered it as it happened. You actually cannot restore magic without going to town. Or using an elixir. Come on.
Where's my next level now? 6200. I'm gonna be leveling multiple times going through this dungeon. I believe that one's poison, but I'm going to save first. Ah. Damn it, I forgot. First time I can hit it. Nope, I can't. I need to jump over, okay. Let's find out. I saved recently. Nope, that's poison. Oh, it doesn't drop you to one. Hmm. I'm gonna reload from before I use the red potion, because I can. Uh, I'm aware. I love how you have to attack along with the item use. Uh, anyway, this time I'm going to be smart and just magic this. Oops, that was an extra. Whiff. Okay, then I'm going to save state here. Just so I don't have to do that again. I mean, yes, I am making the game easier by using save states. I'm aware. Come on. There we go. That's what I wanted to do. You know what? Good enough. And we have another boss. This boss is not that hard given the physical position. It's just a giant snake, and a no, I'm not going to get that coin. It's not worth the effort. I can get those. And I am, however, going to get this B. And right after this boss is another boss. Do not mess with this boss. It's possible to deal with the boss. And I'm going to save state here to show you, but it's not worth the effort in this particular location. And I immediately have to use the elixir. Which I did intentionally, because this elixir respawns. So that's actually a way of getting free magic. Anyway, I think... Oh, I never realized you can... That's fine. Oh! They drop wing boots! I never knew that! Huh. Anyway, I need to get the elixir again. But hey, wing boots. I actually need those. All right, so now I need to get out of here without taking too much damage. This is the hard part. There we go. I will take a B hit, that's fine. And I'm gonna kill it again because I'm in a good position to do so. Told you, I'm gonna level up multiple times in this dungeon. <coughs> I did not realize that boss dropped wing boots. What's over here? don't remember this particular section very well, do I? Uh, oh, this drops me back here again. Okay. This is where poison is, isn't it? Uh. I have a lot of money. There's a reason why I saved stated earlier, so... Oh, no, this is where I can get another pair of wing boots if I kill the bees. Randomly. I think I might need to do it without getting hit or something weird like that. 
Or maybe it's only if I don't have wing boots in my inventory already? Which means I'm wasting valuable hit points. Oh well. Ah. The bees. Yeah, must be if I don't have wing boots in my inventory already. Anyway, by the way, this is... Verge? Go below the blue sky. You'll find a fountain in the sky. I already know that? Yep, nope. That's just a big old nope in that direction. Well, I suppose I could actually fight it. Oh. as well, right? Anyway, I can fly over. Now you can actually see the timer. It dawned on me that this would be a convenient way of avoiding the dwarf. And because there was already wing boots showing, I'm not really using up a resource to do it. I'm gonna heal back up again. save state here. I don't remember if there's anything that I can use over here. Mm. It's annoying to use wing boots, by the way. So what I'm actually having to do for controls is that I'm jumping and then using the d-pad to move. this chamber that I could have used wing boots on, so it's too late now. Power of wing boots is gone. Whee! Immediate fall. Yeah, I could have gone up there. That's what it is. You know what? I've save stated. Let's find out what's up there. I... Oh. Don't remember. Okay, there's ointment there. That's a solid wall. These are bees. Anything above? No. Okay. Well, like I said, I save stated just to see what was up there. Let's see. Okay. I am going to heal then because there's no reason for me to continue using those wing boots. It would save me a small amount of time, but it's too late now. So yeah, you'll notice that the first video consisted of the first three towns of the game, and a huge chunk of the game at that. This video is probably going to not reach another town, or it might reach a town at the end of it. This is where the game slows down quite a bit. It's also significantly less linear, as you notice. Still a linear game in general. I still have to complete the um, restoring water to the fountains task. Oops. Damn it. Well, that will probably give me enough healing. Eh, close enough. Go ahead and add another save state, and let's continue. I did not mean to use that spell. Oh well. Deluge is relatively efficient on magic. Relatively. So I need to climb up on this side. That's actually what I would prefer the jumping thing that I think of a minotaur. I think I looked up as supposed to be a gargoyle. Um. Goobers. Ba -da -ba -da. 
But anyway, we're going up to go talk to that guy. He's supposed to be an old man. Doesn't look like an old man to me. That person looks like a younger woman wearing a beard, because you can sort of see a strap on the beard, kind of like below the... Uh, you can't see... Oh, you can see my mouse. Good, I did actually set it up correctly. So you can see, like, the line on the robes that they're wearing, and there's a white line beneath it. I always thought of that as the strap for somebody putting on a beard. I don't know why. My brain is very weird. Uh, that probably means that you've been seeing my mouse the entire time, haven't you? I'm sorry. And no, I'm not going to go after that coin. That's a fool's errand. Meh. Just a bee. Anyway, let's talk to this person. You've done well to get here. Or, you've done well to get here. This is the spring of trunk. You need elixir to revive the spring. Will you give me your medicine? Yes. You have to. This spring will flow again. There are two more. You better go and find them. So this is not the efi most efficient way of doing this, by the way. Uh, the most efficient way would be getting wing boots and um, doing those first. Uh, do I want another elixir? Stating because I completed that. I mean, we... I mean, I might as well get the ointment. I take one hit in exchange, I take fewer hits? Yeah, that's generally worth it. Because I can get that elixir, as we've proven that I'm not that fell into a wall. Okay. Um, I can get that elixir, and it's not even that hard now that I know what to do. Yeah, I'm just jumping over everything because nothing knocks into me because of the ointment. Ah. Magic still hits me, unfortunately. Yeah, I'm gonna do it. Yep. That's why I didn't go down and say hi to the giant snake in person, because I knew one that I was going to have my ointment run out. And more importantly, too, you have to actually hit the head of the snake. Because at the very least, getting this elixir will fully restore my magic. But as I found out... That's not actually that hard to do. end up using the elixir. Maybe I should use the elixir and just turn around. Yeah, that's probably a better way of handling this. Elixirs are free healing, after all. Yep, I'm gonna do that. Decisions that young ten-year-old me would have never thought of. So what I'm going to do is I'm going to... Oh, that's right. I actually have to take a hit. Like that. There we go. Get the elixir again, now that I'm fully healed. Magic this guy to death. Ah, damn it. Use the elixir again, because I'm an idiot. This is a really easy way to grind, isn't it? It just dunned on me. I get a lot of money, too. There we go. That's what I meant to do. Huh. I never thought about using that as a grinding area. But it makes sense, because I have full healing right behind me. Hmm. I might do that. So the reason why is that I want to go back and buy that uh, shield and death spell. I'm probably never going to use the death spell because it's a terrible spell, but I, I'm a completionist. But more importantly, that magic shield's actually extremely good. You get it much later in the game if you want to buy it for a lot more money. So, yeah. I'm going to grind for a bit. I'll be right back.
All right, I've decided that grinding there is not the greatest of ideas because you actually don't get that much money. I just noticed. Um, so I've only done it a couple more times and... Oh, right, I need to go grab an elixir again. I remember now. All right. Um, yeah, walking from below is probably the quickest way. Damn it. I might as well get hit. Uh, Warned for the fact that I don't want to edit these videos. Oh well. Alright, let's try that again. This time with more success, please. There we go. That's what I wanted to do. Taking a B hit's not that big of a deal. I think this one might actually be the easier one to grind for money on. <clears throat> Since the only thing I can get hit by is a B. Yeah, that gives me 200 golds. The other one was giving me 40. I'm gonna do that. Oh no. Oh no, you don't. Yeah, once you get a nice enough weapon, you can actually melee these snake bosses pretty easily. Mini bosses? Mid bosses? I don't know how to describe it. So yeah, this is gonna be the grinding that I'm doing, I'm thinking. I'm only taking minor amounts of damage. I can go heal myself as needed. I can also just do that. That in NES slowdown. That's how you know things are getting good. Anyway, I'm gonna do this for a bit. Uh, I'll see you in a bit, Internet. So I went back to go heal via using elixir and I wanted to show you this. I have one hit point and zero magic point. Or technically I have zero hit points and zero magic points. So in fact, Xanadu, you actually... You actually end up dying when you go below zero hit points. So this was a unique situation, so I wanted to show you. Anyway, I need to get hit, so. Anyway, continuing on. All right, now that I'm back and mostly healed, uh, as usual, I took a hit from a B. Um, let me go ahead and save state. So I decided I wanted up to 10,000 golds right now. Uh, save state, right. Uh, do, 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 save state, save state, there we go. Okay, so. Um, we just need to leave at this point. Because we're actually done with this place for now. Um, not even for now. We're done with this place. Um, this is an easy way to get an elixir. So depending on the events that go on with the rest of this area, I may decide to come back here for the elixir. Uh, I wish I could jump down ladders. Anyway. As usual, getting hit by bees. So I should mention about how elixirs work. So you'll notice that elixirs aren't listed in my inventory. The reason why is that elixirs are listed on the player screen. Um, you can see it's over down here, which means you can only have one at a time. Also, I'm about to hit yet another level. I'm almost certainly going to hit it before I actually return to town. And if not, I will make sure that I hit it because I might as well. Um, so the wing boots thing, I'm pretty sure it is based off of um, not getting hit. Yeah, we'll come back here eventually. Not to the tower itself. I wish you would let me level up. Anyway, we're going down here. Because I can just avoid getting hit by poison. And we're going to leave and head back to town. We've got one fountain down, so we're one third of the way done with this section. Ow. 
Did not mean to actually do that. I'm not actually ready to level yet. Hmm. Did not actually mean to do that, but that's okay. Uh, you know what? I'm going to actually grind to 10k XP. <coughs> Just because I can. It doesn't exactly take long. I'm not even bothering to pause. There we go. Let's go here. Give you a title. Warrior. Uh, us folks that have been playing D&D for so long are like, but why did we get promoted from an PC class to an NPC class? That doesn't make any sense. Anyway, I'm going to save state here, and we're going to take a long walk back. I want magic shield. You know, if I can actually not die immediately, that would be great. I knew this one was here, so I wasn't too concerned about actually dying. I believe there's another one over here, isn't there? Ah, so the attack power one. So there's something weird about the attack power one, by the way. So, there are certain ways of having your attack power increased. That one does work. There's some of them that don't. And it will actually decrease your attack power because buffer overflow. Back to those goobers. Which I think we can now one-shot even without... Yeah. And yes, I will in fact take the free red potion, thank you very much. Oh right, I don't have another Matic. Oh, I forgot I have to buy one. Oh, I got a free red potion. Let's head back to town again. No, I do actually have to hit it twice. Okay. I mean, that's fine. I can hit these twice. Dang it. I always get hit by this one for some reason. My timing's just off, I think. But anyway, we have another Myconid here, so I'm not too concerned about healing. And another Myconid here. Might as well do this. Cost me two Deluge. And it means I can kill things more easily. For a little while. And it gives me XP. Always use more XP. I ah, was hoping to not get hit by that. Anyway, do you have Maddox for sale? No. How do I go back then? One moment, I'm gonna look this up so I don't take too much effort. Alright, so you can go back, it just takes you longer. And also, apparently, there was more. Uh, there was. I don't want to buy that, yeah. Um, apparently there was actually a way to get a second Matic. Which would have been nice to know back then. Oh well. I will have to do that later. That's fine. Let's heal up. A little bit of a waste, but that's fine. Also, I realized that I didn't actually make a real save, so I'm going to do that now. I don't know what it is about this game, but I really like the music from it, given that it's NES era. Oh, let's, let's actually go down this time. Oh, 
right. I don't use my shield if it hits my head. All right. So, we've got two more things that we need to do. Yeah, I want the healing. There. Makes up. So, that's one of them. Uh, I'm gonna use the wing boots one, which is over here. So this is what they're referring to by the skies opening up. That slow down, even though there's only two moving sprites on the screen. Or three, if you count me. And then if you keep moving over here, you find one of these. And there's a chance of something spawning there. I don't remember what. Um... Let me see if I can find the map. There's maps for everything in this game. One of the greatest parts. Um, so this is Overworld Area 3? Ugh. That map is not very good. Also, that's not the right one. Anyway, I'll just deal with that some other time. I don't remember what actually spawns there, but we are here to use Wing Boots. So, anytime that I use Wing Boots since I'm playing on Emulator, I'm going to save state because you are limited on time, and now that I've leveled, I am more limited on time. Remember what I mentioned before about the higher levels you are, the less time that you have? We had 35 before, we're down to 30. Oh, red Potion Spawn. Neat. Time. Five, four. Okay, got it. Oh, ho, ho! I'll tell you about the water of the spring. Oops, fallen asleep. The water was poisoned. Poison is almost gone, so it's all right to wake him up. Watch. Something's wrong. Oops. Yep. Okay, there isn't anything over here. Good to know. Right, that's email telling me about my high V delivery. Uh, grocery delivery, sorry. Um, I don't know if there's anything on the other side. Let me see if I can look that up really fast. Uh, this time, not looking at game facts because their maps are stupid. So there's definitely better maps around. Um, yeah, here we go. This is what I wanted to find. We are at the Three Springs. What's around? Nothing. Cool. Okay, that works. Yeah, it looks like there's a random red potion spawn where I thought there was. Okay. All right. Let us continue. I just need to live. That worked. I don't want to waste my elixir here. I'm going to go back to town, by the way. At least I think I am. Hmm, what's in that tower? Okay, there's not a easy healing in there, so forget that. Ow. 
Okay. This is the part that's gonna suck. Jump. Jump. Okay. I think I've made it because I can heal from here. Which I'm going to heal up a little bit before I go upstairs and take care of that healing. I'm glad that this game gives you plenty of ample healing for this part of the game and wonder how in the world 10-year-old me didn't do this. I'm almost at the point where 10-year-old me stopped, for reference. It, I did eventually beat the game, by the way. Uh, I was just more like 12-year-old me. 12? Yeah, probably 12. I might as well just heal from here. Because I actually need to go down into that tower anyway. And this is convenient. It's not like I'm low on magic. I'll do one more and then start walking down. I'm slowly remembering how to dodge things. Unfortunately, I will never dodge those. If this is the one that needs the queen key. Ah. Damn it. Oh. The mark of. Oh, this is Joker. Where did I get the Joker key at? Go back. I remember now. It's dumb. So I actually have to go back up to that tower again. If I would have done this in the right order, I wouldn't need to do that, but... Oh wow, I'm almost at an hour already. So this section is just going to be reaching the next town. That's all I'm planning on doing. Good enough. That's what I wanted to see. waste an extra jack key. That's not that big of a deal. Okay. There's a faster way of getting to there. What is it? Oh, right. It's fighting the dwarf. That's why. That's why I remember how to do this. I think I still have ointment up, actually. Yes. Which is why I'm taking advantage of healing. Ointment should probably expire any moment now. Yep. So do. So up here. my conid, then save state because I don't trust myself on this. And wait for the dwarf to get stuck onto the ledge and I can jump over at that point. I think one more flight up and I can probably pull it off. Nope, I couldn't. That's okay. Good enough, I took one hit. There we go. Oops. 
See, I needed to do the fountain first and then here, but I didn't want to buy the wing boots. Door cookie. Oh, believe me, before I leave here, I will be buying a pair of wing boots because screw that. But wait, I forgot. I could just fight in there. Yeah, well, it doesn't matter. That's why there's that shortcut. Come on. All right. Now let's equip the key of Joker. This is basically a one-way trip. How in the world was I supposed to fight this one? Oh yeah, I was supposed to have ointment first. <sighs> I don't remember when my last game save save state was. for coming. I will revive the spring right away. But I'll give you the ring of ruby. Now push the rock away from the fountain. Ruby ring. Now how in the world am I going to get back without dying? I think I'm going to have to eat that. Don't want to, but hey I got one for free anyway. I survived. Barely. Isin, what are you doing? There's an Isin kitty right here. Uh, apparently my partner ate all of the potato chips. Okay. I would like to not die, please. I have zero hit points. Cool. Ah. Okay, yeah. That's going to be our load state. Okay, I just loaded here. That's fine. I can redo this. This is not a big deal. I'm going to just fight the demon here, but that's going to take a long time. Actually, I will do that. I'm going to pause this and I'll be right back. And back. I decided not to fight the demon. But I have ointment now, so let's try this again, shall we? Joker key. And if I was smarter, I would have save stated before getting that sequence, but that's fine. And we're just gonna walk in. I don't know how you're supposed to get up there outside of wing boots. Oh, a vibe of the spring right away. I'll give you the ring of Ruby. Now push the rock away from the fountain. There we go. And I'm still protected because of the ointment. Give me food. Jumpy. I accidentally used magic again. This happens. Alright. And ointment's gone, that's fine. I'm gonna heal up really fast. This really will be taking right about an hour. So yeah, you see what I mean by the game slows down quite a bit? Um, this is the point of the game where I never really got past at 10. Uh, the next time I played through, after I f had a better TV where I can actually read the stupid passwords, is where I started, you know, actually succeeding at things. But we have a couple of things that we need to do first. First off, I'm pretty certain we've leveled up again. We are now a fencer. Thank you very much. And give me my mantra. Thank you. 
save state after always save state after a battery save okay next thing we're buying wing boots because it's the last place in the game that we can buy them for anything resembling a decent price okay How's my inventory? I'm full, okay. Okay. Let's go ahead and head out. I'm not worried about that small amount of magic remaining. Do you have anything new to say? So, fun thing is that they actually change things. Like, for instance, now they're talking about finding the way to Maskin by pushing the rock. You can't move it without the Ring of Ruby. You know that ring that we have? The old man of the spring will have it. Ask him. I never realized that they changed conversation topics, which made this game a lot more confusing than it needed to be. Will you give me ointment? Because that would be really handy. No? I'm going to get ointment. Uh, it's apparently a 25% chance. By the way, how much XP do I need? 15,000, okay. In this case, we don't need to go up. See the fountain's going now? And now, stab it, push the rock out of the way, and then you get this. Go up here, and now it asks for a mark of queen. This is why we need the queen key. Really wish I could organize my inventory. I've used the key. We're now at the point of the game that I never saw as a kid. Or as a young kid. I did see this as a preteen teenager type of thing. Oh boy. This place is creepy. Welcome to the Lands of Mist. Uh, I don't remember the way at all at this point. I just remember some very overpowered enemies are in here. What is it, a Um, um, wham, 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 wham. So it's somewhat hard to see where the gaps are in things from time to time. Uh, I don't remember where to go anymore. Oh, it's here. Notice I got hit by something? Yeah, um, those little dwarf-looking things, the ones that actually look like dwarves, yeah, those are powerful. Welcome to the town of Macon. Or Maskin, sorry, not Macon. We've got a bar here. There are stores outside of town. They sell useful items, though it's inconvenient to get there. Wonder if you can find them. Look up while you walk. When the meteorite dissolved in water, it became poison, which will bring sickness. It started when the dwarves brought it into the world tree. Though we're starting to get a little bit more of the plot as much as there is. So that's food store. We have actual tool shop. And see, we can buy a large shield here, but more importantly, we can buy the mattock. Yes, I will in fact be going all the way back to get the magic shield. The magic shield is a lot better than that large shield. And we've got key, we've got these folks. This town has been covered with a mist ever since the meteorite hit the town. Some areas might still be burning. Meteorite is, medi uh, is meditated at the Tower of Suffer. You'll find the tower above a guru. Be careful. So they do have both treatment and food here. 
Um, I'm going to stop this one here and then start recording for the next video. So, yeah, we made it. Oh, you notice something that's missing in this place? Yeah, there's no guru. Bye, Internet. I'll see you next time.